Hello, my name is Karak City 2 and welcome back to my Gorek Tech New Horizon series. I am just over by my lava centrifuge and uh, yeah, I need to sort this out um, because I need to get it uh, centrifuging the Pahoho lava for the copper, the tin, and the silver. Um, don't know how much I'm going to get from this. I, I don't remember what the the things were. Uh, like, I don't remember what the percent chances were, if it was like 100% or what it was. So, I mean, uh, I don't know. That's pretty low. But the reason I want to get this going is not necessarily for the tin and copper, but for the silver. Um, because we do use the silver in our fusion reactor. And uh, we are running low last time. I mean, sort of running low. We had, I think, 250,000. So we're down to that much. So I need to get this sorted out. And thankfully, I already, um, I already had like a setup that produces the Poho lava, which is actually kind of cool. Um, I'm just getting these uh, turbines kind of reset because I don't have to worry about them. Uh, there we go. Um, so I need the large turbines in here and then we'll do, I need to do regular turbines in these two. I mean, these are fine. Uh, maybe I should just do the whole setup. Why don't we just redo the whole setup? Although, don't want to forget how this was set up because I have everything like regulated and all the things are all set up. So I don't, I'm going to leave these in here just so I, I don't pull them out and then forget which side I'm supposed to be putting those in. Um, so basically just disassembling them and it seemed to work on that there. So I really don't know the disassembling the turbines. Like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Really have no clue. But uh can't remember which obviously we have twenty-four, so it's the one with twelve and it's tungsten. Yeah, long tungsten steel is what we need. Oh look at that, we already have some. Nice. Throw that in there. Come on. There it goes. So that should be, yeah. All right, so we'll throw the large turbines in there and then I might as well just while I'm doing it, yeah, we'll set up the regular ones. I think that's what it was. Yeah, just the regular size turbines. Got those thrown in here. All right, so that is that. We'll get that sorted out. Now I need to, instead of directly piping in the lava into the centrifuge, we're going to have to send it through the thing first. The first thing I need to do is change how this works. I have it pumped out directly into the input hatch, so we don't need that anymore. Uh, but I do need this pumped out into this thing. So I'll just move the the pump that I had already set it to import. There we go. All right, so that is set up. Question is, how do I get the lava into this? Unfortunately, when I built the this building, I didn't leave room for a centrifuge because I hadn't really planned on doing that. But um, how do I want to do this? I guess. Mm, let's see, that's the front. I guess we could come down here. Is there a thing? What about like down here? Where is this? I guess I could do it like into there. Yeah, why don't we do that? All right, that's what I think I'm going to do. Oh, 
Let's get some Enderium pipes. Question is, should I should I replace this with? I don't know. Maybe I should replace this with a bigger pump or a bigger tank. Maybe I should do that. Why don't we try that? We'll get another tank going. And we'll definitely need a, a pump though. So let's do... We don't need something that fast. I feel like the IV ones are pretty much fastest. They're fast enough for pretty much anything you could uh, come across. So far, I haven't found anything that would need something faster than that on Greg Tech pipes. Because fluid pipes can't even handle that much. Well, I guess they can. <laughs> I am doing the... There. So, yeah, I guess they can handle quite a large amount. <laughs> Alright, I take that back. So... Uh, it's probably getting... Backed up here with the whatever we're... Or maybe not. What was taking so long? Oh, there it goes. Let's do... I think the easiest way to do it is put it on the pipe as opposed to put it on the actual block because you can't reach it if it's on the the pipe kind of overlay thing like this thing will like block it so you can't reach it if there's a pipe there so i guess we'll do yeah i mean wrapped here and then just down i guess we go as I'm getting burned by <laughs> e-pipes. All right, so that should be, yeah, that's inputting there. I hope that's fast enough. I don't know, we'll see if these can transport it fast enough. I actually don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, that is definitely not gonna be fast enough. I'm gonna need better pipes. Tiny awakened draconian pipes. <laughs> Should we do those? I mean, we have tons of draconium. How many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Of course, it's like a weird number. All right, let me get this kind of set up and we'll come back once I get the, the turbines and everything done as well. All right, we are back and I got the turbines crafted up and I connected this to the centrifuge and I actually turned it on and uh, I didn't really... Uh, we're stuck. Oh, get me out of here. Yep, yeah, I've done that a couple times. Got stuck in the wall uh, from these things. It happens if you're like standing off to the side. Um, but I turned this on and I actually didn't even think <laughs> the the recipe has been nerfed so much that uh, yeah these pipes are plenty fast enough. <laughs> um, I don't remember what the speed of it was before but it's now a 50 second recipe so even on HV or UV this is as fast as we're getting and I mean we're getting some stuff but as we can see this is Heavily, heavily nerfed. And actually, yeah. No, that's right. Uh, so yeah, we'll just leave these pipes here, I think. And I'm just going to go ahead and... I'm not going to burn through all that, I don't think. We'll just pull this out as much as we can. Actually worked out pretty well there. Just... 
get rid of that, and we'll plop down one of these. Okay. Oh, that's, I think that's like a half. Yeah, that's why I can't fit in there. Come on, there we go. Okay, so that in there, that in there, that in there. And why don't these stack? <laughs> the one below it, like the, the tier of fluid cells below it stack up to eight or 16, whatever, but these only stack up to two. Like maybe it's the, how much they carry. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Like 16 million or whatever you can carry at once. Um, so we'll put those back. We may use them at some point. Oh, and also you need a circuit. So I threw in a, a input bus there with a circuit. All right, so that is doing that. And I guess, why don't we try to fire this back up again and get this going. Unfortunately, this can explode, so I gotta make sure everything is working correctly. But yeah, basically, if you remember from a long time ago, it will take the lava, we're pumping into the bottom of it, uh, create some heat or steam, and output the oh, 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 lava. And once it speeds up, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be creating more of it than we are using but maybe it does take a little while to heat up so it's an efficiency only 28 percent so we gotta wait for that i don't i'm assuming none of this stuff has been like this hasn't been nerfed i don't i don't believe so but oh, i ran out of power in my uh <laughs> my chest plate all right so i think that is Working okay. We just have to be careful with the distilled water. And it is like a hundred percent when these are turned on, everything it is like a you get the exact amount of distilled water that you use back. So should be good. But I do have a little bit of a buffer, so we don't have any explosions. So that should turn on and that should turn that on. Yeah, there it goes. Alright, and then when this is running at full speed, this should be should be fine i don't i'm not using this for power i should just get rid of this but yeah i'll leave it for the uh just for the looks basically all right but there is the lava centrifuge so we got a little bit of that and just for the record i i know this was probably too powerful but it just sometimes it feels like it's just constant nerfs of every little thing in this pack that kind of got to me. Sure, that probably needed to be nerfed, but you know, after a while of playing this for so long, it just gets so exhausting. Having all your builds break after every single update because something has changed or nerfed, and yeah, that is kind of what kind of pushed me over in the last episode, even though it's just lava. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal, but... It's just, you know. All right, so that should be working. I'll have to keep an eye on it to make sure. Now, gold is gonna be the issue. We it no longer produces gold, and there are a couple ways to actually deal with this, and I'd actually forgotten, um, but I am producing a whole lot of glowstone, and I'm getting that from glow flowers. So actually, why don't I, I could probably, I mean, we can see how fast they grow. I mean, that's like super fast. Um, I believe there's like another flower I had seen mentioned, and I don't even know what it is, to be honest. Like a little gill something. And that exploding, exploding mobs mod is god awful. I need to, I need to remove that from this bag because I hate that mod. Um, Galonia, I thought it was something called, or? I can't remember what it was called. Why don't we? Is there? Hmm. Glowing comb. That's a hundred percent. Wait a second. Maybe. 
Hellish Arid. That's a bit annoying. Oh, but it's just... Alright, so we don't even have to... Hmm. I wonder if that would be faster than dealing with... Because that is one to one. And if I speed up this B, would it be faster? Well, I could probably get more from that. Furious, excited. I don't have excited yet, but I do have cultivated and valiant. The easy enough to get. Um, glow shroom, glowing coral. Here, glow wheat. Yeah, I thought there was like a seed mentioned, like a different type of flower that I'd actually never heard of. In uh, it's like a. Atomic bases, I think, was mentioned. Like one of these, maybe? Ender, Peaceful, another. No. This one. Glee. That. I have no idea what it does, though. Does it. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what does it grow? Holy cow, what is that? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I could... Let me take a look at that and we'll be right back. All right, I am back and I just wanted to point out something that I didn't know, I found out uh, when <laughs> this whole thing exploded. Um, I did do a restore backup because it took out like half the base. Um, but these like little cover things, you know, you can put them on the pipes to kind of block the floor. They had been like disabled or reset, I guess you would call it, because you can choose. I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to mess it up. Um, but if you use a screwdriver on them, you can choose to let energy, redstone or fluid through. And apparently they had been reset. So my distilled water wasn't actually going back and I went off to do something. I came back about a couple minutes later and it exploded like right when I got back. Um, it must have run out of distilled water. So uh, just keep an eye on these cover kind of things if you have fluids or anything going through them because they might be broken uh, with the update. Um, but as we can see, we're hovering right around the same amount. I just have to be careful with this because if they get a maintenance issue, I believe that screws it up. So, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this, to be honest. I just don't like... I mean, I like the setup. I think it's cool, but it kind of requires monitoring. I should just have this set up to, like, if it drops below a certain level, turn off the machine. It would probably be the smartest thing to do, but, eh. Let's live, we'll live a little dangerously here. Because, let's be honest, I'll probably just restore it back up. Um, because it's just too annoying trying to fix everything when they blow up. Um, anyway, I did get the seed. Just got the, the flower from all my bees. There's 50 million flowers out here. So why don't we go ahead and see how this works. I don't know if this needs to be on, like, farmland or... I have no idea how this actually works. No, it doesn't look like it works on that. Let's see if it works on... Right. Give me one second. I need to disable that stuff. That I hate that. The explosions. It's just annoying. I could put a sound muffler in there, but I feel like it doesn't even add anything. Like, what does that add? to the playthrough. All right, we are back and it's a lot more it's a lot more quiet. Uh so let's see if this will go in there. All right, doesn't look like it'll go on fertilized dirt. Maybe it needs just regular dirt. Um hmm. Did it actually work in there actually? I don't know. All right, so there it is. You know, I'm thinking I'm I don't know. I feel like trying to set this up, I would have to get a separate world accelerator 
to speed it up. And I would, I'm assuming it like, here, let me grab some bone meal. Let's see if bone meal works. I'm assuming it drops like in the, yeah. Yeah, it needs to be like broken. You do get the glowstone of it, but I think it's just easier just to drop more. Um, drop more um, IC2 props. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me go make another glow flower, I think. Yeah, I'll go to do some more glow flowers. I could also do some more world accelerators. I don't need to have them running. I think I have those at DPM, but I can always have them running at, you know, my much lower. glow flower we'll just get one because i only have room for like the one at the moment and they are pretty quick as we can see i have i feel like i got like two thousand more since we started talking about this uh, i'll hold on to that just in case and so there's the glow flower let's go Prop sticks. Turn that off so we don't get weeds before I can do anything with it. Let's just give it a second to let the forestry thing figure out that it's there. There we go. Should have the goldfish underneath this thing because that sound is coming from the goldfish plant. All right, so yeah, I feel like that's easier than trying to do that other thing. And it should be, it'll be feeding into this thing. Yeah. So there we go, we just got, what, four more glowstone, there's another four. So I feel like that is pretty cool. Um, we just need to, Just need to uh, centrifuge this stuff, and I'm kind of debating how I want to do this. Uh, do I want another large centrifuge, or I could just craft up it? I mean, these things are so easy to craft up. Just have it like running permanently. I always do a processing array and add more as I. Uh, Maybe that's what I'll do. I mean, centrifuges are so easy to craft. I think it's just like one component and some glass. Oh, it's two components. Oh, it is four. Yeah, that's right. That one is actually four circuits. I do have a couple. All right, uh, let me get this. I think, yeah, I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. Yeah, I might as well, I guess. Yeah, we're already up to, I think we just got like another whatever. What, the other thing is how, how slow is this? This isn't the fastest. I do remember that. Twenty four seconds at MV. And I'm not gonna even, Oh, it looks like it can't even go as... Oh, it can. Yeah, 24 seconds it. Hmm. Let me uh, think about this, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back, and I decided to just do a processing array because I can um, ramp up the, the thing with this. It'd probably be easier to do the centrifuge, but I don't have any of the stuff auto-crafting and all the different alloys and stuff for those machines are a bit of a pain. So I just went with this because it's super easy to craft up. I'm just doing an UV energy hatch, but I'm doing IV things. I can get 64 of these. I didn't, I only did four at first because they do require the circuits and I don't want to use a whole ton of circuits because uh, we need them and I'm trying to stockpile them. But it looks like I ran out of channels over here. That's annoying. Unless I don't remember what's going on over here. 
this. Ah, that's the issue. Let's do... Actually, we can just switch that out to dense. That works. Sometimes the cables are a bit annoying because you can't put anything on them, but that one actually just happened to be able to do that. All right, so that should have fixed that. Takes it a second to sort that out. So we'll just put the glowstone there. We're up to 20 of 2,000. 214,000. So we definitely are getting a bit of a increase, but now that we're processing it, probably going to drop. Um, we'll see. Hopefully I'm not pulling too many amps down this thing. I got to be careful with this. And it's kind of annoying because this is now in the way. I guess we can go underneath it. Yeah, we're good. It's doing the blast furnace, but the blast furnace only pulls it. I forget. I don't think it pulls 16. Could be wrong, though. I shouldn't be really going off that line too much. All right, so three seconds, it looks like it's doing it. How many do we get? I didn't see how much that was, but... Uh, yeah, I, like I said, I can... All right, so every three seconds we're getting, like, it's only two, <laughs> two gold, but... Um, yeah, I'm going to have to wrap this up. I should probably get, like, 16 of these, maybe. Yeah, I should even... Should I? I guess I can do a recipe for it. I mean, it's easy enough to craft up, but... It uses the... Uh, four circuits, which is a bit annoying because I am, like I said, trying to stock all this stuff. All right, but uh, yeah, we'll get that going. And then the last thing we're going to need, I want to start crafting up the energy clusters and we need a million bytes. I think I only have about 700,000, I think, in the my biggest computer thing. Come on, tungsten steel. I feel like that takes longer than it should. I don't know. Oh, it's probably because it needs to cook the steel, then it pulverizes, then it mixes it. That's probably why it takes so long. There we go. Throw that on there, and let's get a few more. Let's do 12 more, I guess. That'll be one, what is that, like one amp of uh, ZPM, I think it is. Is that what that is? Yeah, which is really not that much. Although I am getting a bit low. Need to get these going. So many things I'm trying to do at once here. So there is that. And then the last thing we need, once this is all done, I'm going to craft up. I Well, I don't think I have enough room for these. I'm gonna do 15 more, I figured out. Yeah, I don't have room. I have everything for them. It's really just low end circuits, so it's not difficult in the slightest, but I don't have a CPU ready for it. But I definitely want to get one of these energy clusters going um, toward the end of this episode. So, yeah, I'm just going to do a whole other layer of 64K. So that's 15. This is a 3 by 5 Yeah. So, yeah, I guess let me get the, the machines crafted up. Let me get the 64K things going. Let me get these going. Because I need to have as many as I can running at this point. Oh, right, it's not 48, it's 16 per. Not, I was, for some reason, I was thinking it was 12 per, but it, that is not. 
Fusion reactor, where are you? Where? That connected. Now it is. Yeah, I just want to get all this kind of going again. Ooh, that's connected. Should probably sort that out. It does sort itself out eventually. But when these are full, it is it'll be like a little bit less than the 120 or one one point two million. Oh, it looks like it's actually gonna go up there. Alright, cool. So yeah, let me get the stuff crafted up and we will come back. And we are back. And actually while I was crafting up the crafting storage, I realized there is actually bigger storage things as well. So that's kind of cool. Maybe we'll um, if we need to do the one that's, I forget what it is, maybe just <laughs> craft one of these up for, you know, for the fun of it. We don't need something that big, but hey, why not see if we can do it. But let's go ahead and place all these down. Should be big enough to craft up one of these energy clusters from scratch. Let's give it a go here. We're just going to do the one for now, and it does look like we have everything. So just kind of looking at some of the craziness that goes into one of these 40,000 electronic dust, 20,000 platinum. Lots of vibrant alloy, all sorts of stuff. Indium, gallium, that's a lot. So, europium and all sorts of stuff. But uh, yeah, let's get this crafted up. And again, I am I'm using some of the the UV tier stuff. This would actually be even more expensive, but we already have some of the, the wetware supercomputers. I'm using some of these instead of like the wetware or the crystal processor mainframe. So I'll kind of see uh, how I feel with this, but uh, we'll have to take a look at that next episode. I'm going to get this going and I will kind of keep an eye out and see what is kind of slow, what needs to be improved. Actually break that now. I do love how that looks when it's dark. But uh, yeah, we'll take an eye on it and uh, Maybe beginning of the next episode, we'll kind of see uh, how everything is. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.